You know, I like this travel life stuff. <laughs> trip second day in New Zealand we're about to arrive in Wellington Wellington, Wellington that's right Wellington and the kids have been on the whole fantastic the ride has been on the whole uneventful without problems but check out this uh, check out this view here we go here we go that has to be one of the prettiest views I've ever seen. Look at that view. Well, we all slept in a little bit, missed breakfast at the hotel. Nothing new for us. I was really so bad. We're here at the cafe really close by. Dad is working today. Again? We're homeschooling and exploring a little bit. And we decided to stay an extra night in Wellington because there's so much to see. Welcome to Wellington. Oh. how'd you see? Please. <laughs> you wake and you change your bum bum. <laughs> How'd you sleep, Lucy? Here we came home at 6 a.m. Yeah, they turned on all the lights. It was not 6 a.m. You told me you had been up for 30 minutes. That would be 10 a.m. Yeah. You know, yeah, but stop. He woke us up so 6 a.m. is 10 a.m. now? You sound like grandma. Lucy. How are you? You great? Trying to be pessimistic. Megan, how are you today? No. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> Look at Grant trying to use the camera. <laughs> Doing great, Grant. Doing great. <laughs> okay, out this way, guys. <laughs> Grant, she's like practically as big as you. <laughs> Daddy's here, done with work. Ooh, uh, how was work today, Dad? It's good. You know, I like this travel life stuff. And we are headed over to the Te Papa Museum, which a lot of people have recommended. So, I'm excited. We only have a couple hours though before it closes. Bummer. And then tomorrow we're gonna go to the Weta Workshop, which is what made like, Lord of the Rings and stuff. It'll be super cool. Was it fun? No, it was boring and I wanted fun. Why was I so dumb? I was in the dark. Oblivious to what I had. Not too bad so far. The kids haven't seen too much of the mission. 
We are on day four in Millington, a little longer than we wanted to be here. We didn't actually know that you have to have a ferry to cross from the north to the south island. So take note. And Wellington is where it leaves from. We just went to church. Our ferry is tonight at 8 p.m., which is the only one available. So we have to get another hotel room on the other side. I'm kind of tired of traveling. Basically, since we left Paris, we've just been trying to get to our house in Christchurch. Now it's been like two weeks. We're gonna go and do the cable car here in Wellington to kill some time. And then the ferry is supposed to be pretty cool, so I'm kind of excited for that. Chris is ready to go to bed. You want to be a I'm ready to put them to bed, yep. <laughs> All right, you and we have how long of a ride? Four hours. And we're the pilot It's only 10 a.m. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no it's what are the boys? almost seven. Moms. We got four hours. Moms? They're gonna be awesome. I mean, seriously. Luckily, there's a movie theater. Yeah, we've heard, Wait, there's we've a heard rumors. Theater. We heard rumors. We cannot <laughs> confirm or deny but we'll be sure to show you on, the boat? on this inter-island ferry in New Zealand. So far we're like in a, in a boat yard. I and promise. You it seems a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Go load your car, sure. Load your car on. You bet, come aboard. It's a little windy. Ferry. Don't do that again. It's a little chaotic. We've now gone back to our vehicle. It's 11:31. He's screaming. Grace was not happy to be woken up at all off the floor. The other kids are like so hyped up on video games and friends. I had a friend. You know what, Lincoln? I'm gonna throw your iPad out. So we're about to drive off, I guess. Overall, it was super easy. There was like three places to eat. Lots of room to walk around, toilets. I loved it. That was awesome. I'm excited to do it on the way back. How about that? Wow, look at our children up there. Oh my goodness, children. We leave them unattended. Look what happens. Sillies. At least they're getting some energy out. That was the goal of this pit stop. We actually passed the tennis seals on our drive out on the other side of the city. I thought, oh, crazy, no, no. 
That's yucky, come on. I thought we'd find a lot more here. And now there's none. It's better than them getting out in the ocean, I tell you that. That's what I was worried about. What's wrong, Gracie? After a pretty uneventful drive and some really gorgeous scenery, we are arriving to our home in Queenstown. Not Queenstown. Oh, sorry, not Queenstown, Christchurch. And I don't know why I've been telling everyone we've been going to Queenstown, because it's like so far away from Queenstown. Oh, look at that, it's gorgeous. I don't want to hear another Captain Obvious moment. People in New Zealand like rugby. A lot. And cricket too, right? Cricket. Wow. It seems to be pretty big. Cricket fields. It's pretty crazy, yeah. The scenery is beautiful. People for the most part are super nice. And the kids did pretty darn good. 